Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursday. Today we are opening three boxes from the Baseball Card Exchange. We've got 1980 Tops, which is a very high demand box. Very tough to find. They're starting to dry up. Looking for Ricky Henderson rookie card. That's going to be the number one card that we're after today. We've also got a box of 1981 Tops. We'll be looking for Tim Raines rookie card along with Harold Baines and Kirk Gibson. And then we have 1982 Tops looking for Cal Ripken Jr.'s rookie card along with Lee Smith. All three of these boxes have been authenticated by the Baseball Card Exchange as untampered with and unsearched. And uh, we've had some pretty good luck with these. The last time we opened a Baseball Card Exchange authenticated sealed box, we found like, it was at least two Ricky Henderson rookie cards, maybe three. I can't exactly remember. But we're going to open these up now and see what we can find. Jack is in the house. Says, Yo, what's up, Jabs? I hope your day has been great. Jack, thank you very much. I hope your day has been great as well. Before I open these up, I hope I'll check out Jack's channel, everybody. But I want to give you a quick little walk around each box before we open these up. Back whenever this was purchased, it was purchased for $240. Boxes of this now are listed on eBay for $1,000 for 1981 tops. They're usually around $750 to $1,000 and recently sold. And uh, they've just been going up and up and up in price because of the value of PSA 10s and kind of how the market has gone over the past year. So there's the bottom of the card. 357 says, Eric, I heard they're still counting in PA, shaking my head. 357, thank you very much. Yep, they are still counting, on, um, unfortunately. We're, I guess, I don't know if we'll ever know the actual results there, but 1981 tops. Thank you very much. 357, Paul, I appreciate that. Now let's show you the 1980 toss box. This is the big one. Timmy T Time is in the house. What's up, T Dog Shea? How's it going? Keith, welcome. Thank you very much for the kind words. Giving everyone a quick walk around the box before we start to rip these open. Once we take the seal off, there's no going back. There's the bottom of the box. Authenticated by the Baseball Card Exchange by Steve Hart. And 1982 tops. So what we'll do is I'll open up all three of these boxes, and then there's 36 packs per box. We're going to take one pack from each box, and that will be one lot. So, um... For spot number one, which is David, he's going to get the first pack out of 80, 81, 82. We'll open all three of those up and see what we can find. Here's the bottom of the box. All right, here we go. It's time to start the break. We'll start with this 1982 box with somebody once purchased for $30. Who knows when? Uh, a $30 box of 82 tops. I have no idea when the price of that would have been. Probably back in the mid to late 80s for a box of these. They only used to be 30 cents per pack back in the day. There we go. It is underway, the 1980 box. You can see there are all of the packs. Um, we'll get a good feel for the moisture of the box or the moisture that each box is taken on. Typically by the gum, we'll be able to tell. If the gum is bleeding through a full card or more, then it means the boxes have been probably stored in the basement. If the gum is uh, just flakes right off of there without any stain, then we are in pretty good luck. That's what we want tonight. So I'm going to keep those right there. We'll keep these boxes on the screen the whole time as we go along. Let's do the 81 Tops box next. Here we go. 1981 Tops underway. Again, 30 cents per pack way back in 1981. Some of you are probably born back in 1981. I was just a little baby when these came out. I was born in 1980, so that's pretty cool to open cards from my birth year, 1980, coming up next. I always like to set these boxes up. I probably shouldn't do this because these boxes do have a lot of value to them. I like to, you know, just punch out the um, tabs here and get it set up like it would have been back at a gas station or a convenience store back in the day. That's what the box would have looked like. Look how beautiful that looks. Man. 1981 is ready to go, so our last box we have to do now is the big one. It's the 1980 Tops box. Hopefully we can find some Ricky Hendersons in here. I'm hoping for at least one. I would like two. This is the third box of 1980 Tops that I've opened on the channel over the past about two years. Uh, the first box, I did not find the Ricky Henderson. The second box was a major success. Oh, man, this one looks pretty crisp. Those are the 1980 Tops packs. Let's hope we can find it today. 1980 Tops, Ricky Henderson. So here we go. 
All right, underway. First pack. We'll take the first pack out of each box, and it is going to Mr. David H. Best of luck to you, David. I hope that we can find some of the great rookie cards for you. Uh, we'll see how many we can find. The I guess um, we'll call... There's one rookie card, really, I'm looking for an 80. There's Rick Sutcliffe in there as well, but 1980 Ricky Henderson. There's three in this. We'll call the big three are going to be the Harold Baines, the Tim Raines, and I guess the uh, Kurt Gibson is a big three. I, Gibson will be down there near the bottom. And 82, we're looking for the Lee Smith and Cal Ripken. So we've got six that we're looking for. You could toss some other ones in there like Chili Davis and Kent Herbeck. But here we go. Let's start off with 1980 tops. Let's break it open and see what we can find. Looking for Ricky Henderson or Nolan Ryan would be a nice one as well. So we're going to get our first indicator when we look at the back of these cards. And uh, we'll see if there's a large stain or not on the back card. The gum seemed to just fall right off that back card, which is really good news. In our first pack for David, we have a Dave Winfield. He's a Hall of Famer. And we have our first rookie card. It is going to be a Bruce Benedict rookie card. And, oh, look at that, folks. There's no stain on the back. This is a pristine box of 1980 tops. The gum literally just fell off the card. Didn't even leave a gum stain on it. So that's great news. And that's the top pack. Usually the top and bottom packs might end up getting a little more moisture than the cards on the inside. 1980 tops gum. Should I eat it? Upon closer review, it looks a little grayish. So I'm not going to do that. This... The wrapper has zero moisture smell, zero mildew smell at all. So that's great news. The 80 Tops box is a great condition box. Here's the 1980 Tops box. Let's see what we can find in here. Of course, you will get a little bit of wax on the card. You can see how Ricky Camp there got some, a little bit of wax on there. You can maybe get that off a little bit with some um, pantyhose. We've got our first rookie card of the day. It's for 81 Tops, rather. It's a Tim Lawler rookie card. We're looking for Tim Raines in that design. And how about a Nolan Ryan? That's a nice 1981 Nolan Ryan card. Fresh out of the pack. You can see it does have a little bit of um, pink uh, bu uh, bubbles there. A little bit of, um, I don't know if that would be a misprint or not, but a great-looking card right there. Nolan Ryan slightly off-center on the back. A great-looking card. Nolan Ryan cards are always one of the top cards. In each set, especially these old-time 1980s, there's the Baltimore Orioles team card, Earl Weaver on the top. we got the gum right there. I'll flip that off to the side. And our last pack is 1982. Let's see what we can find in the 82 tops. Dale Murphy's hiding out on the back. That's good news. And look how big the piece of gum used to be back in 82. That's a large piece of gum. And it uh, looks like all three boxes are just um, immaculate in terms of um, not taking on any moisture. No gum stains at all. So we're, there's a nice Joe Morgan, Hall of Famer Joe Morgan, just recently passed. The 79 MVP right there, Keith Hernandez, along with Willie Stargell. Yeah, these cards look like they're in great shape, which is great news for us. So hopefully we can find a lot of the great players from this era. George Foster, part of the Big Red Machine, is a nice one. And Don... Aussie is the last one. So, David, you are in the books. Thank you very much. Next up, spot number two. This one is going to go to Mr. Adam Lee. Best of luck to you. I'm hoping that we don't have to wait forever to find the Ricky Henderson. In our last break that we did, uh, 83, 84, and 85, we went about halfway through the break until we started finding all the big rookie cards. I feel like it was not until, like, what, spot, like, 19 or something like that. It took a while. So we'll see if we can get the ball rolling here early. 1980 tops. That gum just literally flakes right off. All right, Ricky, where are you? There's Johnny LeMaster. Hey, a Pete Rose, 1980 tops. That is a nice one right there. Check out the, just look at the condition of the cards. That's why people love buying these boxes. <clears throat> these sealed baseball card exchange authenticated boxes, you're going to get very, very um, nice corners coming out of brand new packs. And uh, there's not a whole lot of these around anymore, and that's why there's so much money. There's Jerry Don Gleaton. You might remember him from the Royals. Rick Honeycutt. Phil Necro is a Hall of Famer. That's a nice one. MTB says Rose needs to be in the Hall of Fame. He may get in someday way, way down the road. I don't know, but we'll see. The all-time hit king. It all depends. You get a commissioner that's a little more lenient 
and progressive in his thinking, and he might let in guys like Pete Rose and then eventually maybe Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens if they need still need the help. There's Ted Simmons. He's a Hall of Famer now, so I got I have to throw him in my sleeve pile. Get that one in a sleeve for you. He was put in by the Veterans Committee. There's Don Sutton. He's a Hall of Famer. Let's see what else we can find. A hit and win, hit two win baseball scratch off game card is pretty nice. For a second there, I thought that might have been a George Brett, but it's not. Mark says, we'd be breaking the new uh, from LCS at LCS prices. The new what exactly? <laughs> Thank you very much. There's George Brett. Very nice one right there. I can't, I don't have access to the pre orders that the LCS do, so I. Rarely can get them at LCS prices. I'm not sure exactly what you mean by the new. If you're talking about the new Tops update, I do have Tops update on the way. I'll be opening jumbo cases tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm going to get that earlier in the day rather than later. There's a nice George Brett 1982. That's great that it came as the second card in the pack, thereby escaping the wax stain that Larry Anderson gets there. Nice one right there, George Brett. And what else can we find in here? There's Don Baylor, Dennis Eckersley, Hall of Famer. Mr. Dragon says, eat the gum. It's awful, but just do it. All right, some peer pressure right there. Uh, Paul Mulder, Hall of Famer, nice looking card. I'm going to probably avoid eating the gum. Um, it's very tempting, but I just uh, I don't feel like getting sick tonight. So, Adam, thank you very much. Some nice Hall of Famers, but no Ricky Henderson. Someone that made mention of the last time we found the Ricky Henderson, I think was back in, I think we did this in May, maybe like six months ago. And literally the second I pulled the Ricky Henderson, I was like, why is nobody excited for this Ricky Henderson? <laughs> there is, the chat was just crickets. There is no feed running by. Usually there's just comments just flowing steadily up my um, phone and it just completely went silent. And uh, the YouTube servers went down at the same time. And uh, luckily, we were still broadcasting, so people got to see the card pulled and then hear me be like, oh, man, what's going on talking to Heather? Did people even get to see that pulled? Here's spot number three. This is for P. Wirt. Get that gum right off the back. No gum stains. We'll keep that. Hopefully, we'll keep that throughout. There's Gary Alexander. Now, I forget who the precursor was to um, Ricky Henderson. I, I think it might have been a Blue Jay, but they're, these cards are always kind of put in the same order as they're they're cut from the sheets, so they're always the same. So they're collated in the same fashion. There's a nice Mike Schmidt 1980 Tops card. We've got Bruce Bochy and Roger Erickson is the last one there for P. Wirt. So no Ricky in that one. Arian Baseball, how is it going? Hopefully everybody's having a nice evening tonight on this Thursday, and hopefully you can join us tomorrow. We'll be breaking jumbo boxes of the brand new Tops update. A lot of you have been waiting for that. JNC Cards here says, Hey, Jabs, JNC are so encouraged by your videos and the love for the hobby. My eight-year-old son and I are trying to reach 100 subscribers. Thanks. Rip, don't flip. Thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out JNC. Uh, I don't know if we have any of our moderators that drop our links for us in here currently, but if you'd like to look them up for us and drop that link, make it a little easier to find them. Hope you guys will check them out. And Mark R says from the recent 1000 LCS buy video. Mark, thank you very much. Are you talking about the, um, what exactly are you talking about that you would like me to open? Is it the um, vintage wax box, the repacked wax? I've spent $1,000 and bought a whole bunch of wax boxes. A lot of those are going to be just, um, put together in Patreon packs for my Patreon members in the November one for the folks that get the older cards. There's Mickey Rivers. Saw him a whole bunch in the Signature Series set. Pow Wow says, or Pow Pow says, a Henderson sold for $60,000 PSA 10 a few months ago. That's pretty crazy. I remember when we were looking for it. Hey, J and C, there's the link. Heather's in the house. Heather, thank you very much for dropping that. You can check out J and C's links, courtesy of Heather. Glad that you're here, Heather. There's a Mike Schmidt RBI card. So a couple Mike Schmidts for you, P. Wirt, but still no Ricky Henderson. But I saw that in 2015, I was doing a little bit of research, trying to look for recently sold. And in 2015, a PSA 10 sold for $30,000. So that makes sense that it has, has doubled in five years, just the way um, prices have gone crazy. Let's see what else we can find for Roger. John Fishman's in the house. 
All right, Roger, you're up. Let's see what we can find for you. Heather had a, made a, just an amazing dinner tonight. I don't even know what it was called. It was something with um, some sort of sausage, rice, and um, sauce. <laughs> I don't ask questions. I just eat it, and it's never, ever been disappointing. So, I'm, I have, Heather, I've had a full stomach since, and um, I don't think I'm going to eat anything else today. Another Hollis build says, that was supposed to be my super. What up, Eric? My 400 is up and running. Stop by and check it out. If you dig it, stay for a bit. Thanks, everyone. Another Hollis build. Thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out another Hollis build. His channel has been growing pretty nicely. Thank you very much. Another Hollis build. Check him out. There's Dennis Eckersley. And Noah I is in the house. Says, hey, Eric, I hope you and the family are well. We're working hard over here at the Big Bad Box. Noah I from the Big Bad Box. A lot of you guys love the Big Bad Box series that we do every month, opening the standard version and also the diamond big bat box they do nice work over there and uh thanks for being here tonight noah really appreciate that uh i guess we'll have probably uh in another week or two we can start looking forward to the next month's version of the big bat box so those come out i think they're usually around the middle of each month all right roger let's see if we can find your 81 toss pack there's bud harrelson we're still rookie card less Unless you really love rookie cards that you love Ralph Botting. Still no big-time rookie card yet, but we're only on spot number four. We still have 32 spots to go. Looking for Cal Ripken Jr. And, of course, Ricky Henderson. Those are the big two that we're after. Let's see if we can find the Ripken right here. Here's the 82. I'll even take a Lee Smith right now. It'd be nice to start finding some of these guys and checking them off our list. Man, that gum looks so tempting. Very, very tempting, but for right now, I'm still gonna, still not gonna give in. Joe Rudy, Gary Ward, we have Ken Clay, there's Andy Rincon, and looks like we have Cy Ox says, Hi, Jabs, you're a huge inspiration for me. Thank you very much, um, Cy Ox. Thank you for the support. I hope you guys will check him out. Do you do baseball card videos? There's a nice Steve Carlton and Pete Rose, Hall of Famer Steve Carlton, pulled him last night out of our um, Topps Dynasty box. There's a nice Nolan Ryan ERA leader card. That's a nice one right there with Steve McCaddy. Kent DeColvey, former closer for the Buccos there for many years. And Britt Burns, 82. So, Roger, thank you very much. A couple Hall of Famers in there. Roger's not done yet. He is going to be back for spot number five. Let's see what we can find from our next round of these next week we're going to go back to 1972 and break open a box of 1972 heather's got the link for psyox you can check out their channel there heather thank you very much for dropping that all right so here we go roger 1980 tops pack number five out of 36 we've got jim gantner leading things off there we go drop that gum right off the back uh, Cameron says, do you know any Pirates players from the 90s? I know all of them. I, that was like my heyday for collecting cards. And uh, growing up, I was, I turned 10 years old in 1980 or 1990. So, so I, yeah, I, all throughout my childhood, I grew up watching the 90s Pirates. Loved uh, all those guys, except for some of them. I didn't really like Zane Smith for some reason or Raphael Belliard. Belliard was more of a late 80s pirate. Here we go, 81. Let's see what we can find. Justin says, Jabs, if you pull all the rookie cards, you have to eat some of the gum. All right, that's a deal. I will eat a piece of gum if we check off every good rookie card that we're after. So that means a Henderson, and that means a Baines, a Reigns, and a Gibson from this 81 tops, and also a uh, Ripken, and also a... Um, Lee Smith. If we find all of those, we'll do it. Yeah, Tony Pena rookie in there. I'm Spiz. What's going on? How's it going? Yeah, Tony Pena had a nice long career into the mid to late 90s. He was still playing in what, like 95, 96 with the Indians. No, I says love the 81 design, and we are giving away a Hank Aaron signed bat this month. So that's a pretty good prize. The big bat box, as you remember, they always give you those uh, those tickets in there. For a raffle, they raffle off something really cool every month. So check them out. Noah I from the Big Bat Box. Um, Heather says she, she can't find Noah. Heather, that's okay. Can you drop the Big Bat Box link for everybody in there? I'm pretty sure it's http 
um, colon backslash backslash bigbatbox.com. There's Dave Henderson. Yeah, he had a nice career. Dave Henderson, Seattle Mariners rookie card. I'll sleeve that one up. Good old Dave Henderson. Ryan says, do, you, do I like Josh Bell? Yeah, Josh Bell, good player. Really had a down year this year. Pirates are looking to maybe lock him up long-term coming off of a terrible year. He had a great year two years ago in 2019. Had like a 560-something slugging percentage. 30, how many home runs do you have? Like 36 home runs or something like that. Most of those came in the first half. But, man, he was pretty bad last year, so I think the Pirates are trying to buy a low on him. Brian's up next. Let's see what we can find for Brian. Chris says, love the videos, Jabs. Quick question. Who wins the World Series first, Reds or Buccos? Keep up the good work, Chris. Thank you very much. I think I'm going to have to go right now. I think the Reds are probably going to be a little closer. They've, they're have they a little more talented than the Pirates. Um, actually, a lot more talented. The Pirates are going to have to rebuild, and it's going to be at least probably five years until they are even competitive again, it looks like. With their small market, they don't like to sign any big-time free agents. they got to develop through the draft. It's going to be a while for the Buccos, it looks like, unless they just have like a kind of a freaky year where everybody performs way, way above what anyone expected. There's a nice one for Brian. It's a Carl Yastrzemski. There's Heather with the Big Bat Box link. You can click on that and go right over there and check out their products. If you're a longtime viewer of the channel, you've seen us open their boxes many times, once a month. There's Fredlin Austin Farmers in the house. What's up, Austin? How's it going? All right, no Henderson in the 80 pack for Brian. Let's check out the 81 pack and see what we can find. Still no big rookie cards. This happened last week as well. Didn't find them until halfway through the break. Then they started to show up fast and furiously. Dave Frost... There we go. There's a decent one. And now he's, I don't know if you consider this maybe maybe the fourth best rookie card in the set. Fernando Valenzuela. Everybody was all about this card back in the early 80s so when the baseball card industry was going crazy. Fernando Mania was sweeping over LA and the nation. And Mike Sosha on there as well. Pretty decent, good rookie card. I would put this one uh, probably around number four in the set. Some people might have it as high as three right behind the... Tim Raines and Harold Baines. Um, you might put them tied with a Kurt Gibson. Austin says there are 739 watching, only 97 likes. Thank you very much, Austin. Really appreciate that. Uh, we do have 105 likes now, so thank you very much to everyone that has hit that like button. I really appreciate that. All right, so Chris, I really appreciate your support. I see that Heather has your link for you right there. If you'd like to check out his channel, please do so. Let's finish off this pack for Brian and see if there's anything else in here besides the Valenzuela. There's the Future Star card, so maybe, just maybe. Nope, Mike Boddicker had a very nice career, nice serviceable career. No Tim Raines, though. That's the Tim Raines design that we'll be looking out for. Here's the 82 Tops pack. Let's see what we can find in this bad boy. The Sports Collector. I do not sell on eBay. All my breaks I sell on Patreon. It's uh, $3 per month to sign up there and get access to all the breaks and everything we do over there. There's Mark Hill. All right, so 82 for Brian. Can we find the Ripken or the Lee Smith for you? There's a nice Lou Whitaker card. I always thought Lou Whitaker deserved a little more um, respect in the Hall of Fame voting. Fell off the ballot very quickly. Gorman Thomas, a little sticker card there for you. Uh, there's a Jim Spencer, Steve Carlton, 19. Hey, we got the Lee Smith rookie card. So we've got one of the big six rookie cards that I'm after. I said if we find all six rookie cards tonight, I'll eat a piece of disgusting gum from one of these boxes. So Lee Smith rookie card is in the books. Hall of Famer Lee Smith. That's our first one. So now we're still looking for Cal Ripken Jr. from 82 Tops. We're looking for Reigns, Baines, and Gibson from 81 and Ricky Henderson from 1980. No, I says he's giving away a 95 All-Star game. Nolan Ryan signed ball as well. Thank you for the support, Eric, and everything you guys do. Noah I with a Hank Aaron bat and also an autographed Nolan Ryan All-Star ball. So I to get in on that, guys, you just have to pick up a box from the Big Bat box. Um, what is it? $39.95 for the um, regular edition, pretty good deal. People always seem to um, um, like that product. There's a nice Bob Walk. Bob Walk was a guy that is a great announcer. He still is a great announcer, but my brother and I did not like him as a player. He was, he was always kind of like the Pirates number five starter, and uh, we thought he was pretty terrible for no reason. So 
Here we go, spot number seven. Let's see what we can find for Dan. Best of luck to Dan. Hopefully seven is the lucky number. Mickey Mantle's number. Is that going to produce the Ricky Henderson? We'll find out. Austin says, Walk is the perfect name for a pitcher. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like Joe Strikeout if you're a batter. Like, you don't want that name. Brian Zebart says, I got the 81 Walking Fuss, PSA 10, and got a big Lee Smith rookie. Brian, thank you very much. Congrats on finding the first rookie <coughs> of the day. I was hoping we'd find, um, you know, a, a bigger one than that, but Lee Smith right up there, probably. Depending on how you look at it, maybe the number three or four rookie card that you could find out of these three boxes. So, Dan, here we go. 1980 tops. Looking for Ricky. Will we find him? We got Richie Hebner with a big, huge piece of bubblegum in his jaw right there. There's Bill Madlock. Willie Norwood. We got a home run leader card with Dave Kingman and Gorman Thomas. Kingman had a lot of home runs. Low batting average guy, though. Heather's got the link for the Big Bat Box if you'd like to check out the Big Bat Box. <clears throat> Highlights card of Willie McCovey, Hall of Famer right there for Dan. We've only got one card left for you, and that is going to be a Roy Thomas. Coming up next, 1981 Tops. Let's see what we can find in here. Dirk Grummington says, Larry Heil, Dan Spilner were the cards, but that rings a bell. Thank you very much, Dirk, for dropping that knowledge on us. Larry Heil and Dan Spilner were the cards just before the Ricky Henderson card in 1980. Just did a quick review of the Jabs Breaks the Internet video. So there we go. So Larry Heil and Dan Spilner are the cards we're looking out for. If we can find Larry Heil 1980 tops, it means the Ricky Henderson is incoming very soon. It'll either be in that pack or the next one. <coughs> the Sports Collector says, so $3 a month gets me access to buy your cards. The Sports Collector, that is correct. Jim Rice. It'll get you access to the entire Patreon page. You'll be able to see the postings there. And anytime we post anything new, you'll be able to sign up for it. And um, once you sign up, I'll send you an invoice. And once you pay the invoice, your name goes on the list. Uh, the pronunciation is Larry Heisel, says Tom. So, Tom, thank you very much for pointing that out. 1980. I wasn't even born until the end of 1980, so I'm glad that you um, set, put me on the right path there. Larry uh, hi, Sil. So there's a Fergie Jenkins and Jim Rice. Two Hall of Famers right there. Vita Blue, nice one. His rookie card is 1970 tops. I actually picked that one up for a buck at the card store last week. We got a nice Phillies win the first World Series card right there. And Lee Lacey. Tim M says, another great break, Eric. Thanks for letting us relive our childhood with all of your videos. Also, thank you to all that have joined my channel. Tim M, thank you very much. I think we're seeing Tim M coming up next. So thank you, Tim. I hope you guys will check out Tim M's channel and um, see what he has gone, going on over there. And um, give him a subscriber as well. And let's wish him luck. Up to 174 likes. Austin, thanks for pointing that out. Almost to 200. Hopefully by the end of the video, we can maybe approach 500. That would be awesome. Rod Carew, all-star card. That's a nice one. He is a Hall of Famer. Heather's got the link for the sports collector. And there's an Ozzy Smith. So Dan's finding some Hall of Famers now. Ozzy Smith and Rod Carew. Let's see if we can find the Ripken. George Brett, a pretty nice pack. Bump Wills. Kevin Hickey, Ken Maka, who's from Murraysville. Steve Carlton, Hall of Fame sticker card. Kind of nice. I don't know how much the value of those cards are, but kind of interesting. Bob McClure, Steve Rogers, who had a nice career. He still is popping up in 2020 products. Pulled an autograph out of his card from the uh, 2020 Tops Archive Snapshots, which came out oh, about two weeks ago. So, Dan, thank you very much. And now it's time for Tim... Best of luck to you, Tim. BF says, is there a card commemorating the Rick Monday flag incident? I'm not sure if there's or not. If there isn't, there should be. Rick Monday, of course, ran onto the field at Dodger Stadium and snatched um, an American flag that was about to be burned by two protesters out from the outfield and ran off with it. American hero Rick Monday. That would be a nice card for sure. If they're, they haven't made one yet, they should. Tim, let's see what we can find for you. Spot number eight and nine. Will he finally find the Ricky Henderson? We found one of the six rookie cards that we're after. You got good old Champ Summers. Just a classic baseball name right there. Champ Summers <laughs> leading things off. There's 
De good old Dennis Lamp always had a very fabulous mustache. Mike Parrott, Art Howe. You guys know Art Powell from Moneyball History through Cardboard. Unfortunately, we are all sold out. There's Bobby Bonds, father of Barry Bonds. He had a very nice career. Mickey Lilich. Billy Sample. There's Willie Hernandez. And Willie Montanez. So no Ricky in that pack. He's got another spot that the sports collector says Austin Sports Cards 90. Check him out on eBay. So check him out, guys. See if he has any good deals over there. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you for the support. And the Big Bad Box says, hey, Eric, it's Noah. We have our own YouTube channel now. Going to have talk shows, live raffles, and more. Would love to have you. The Big Bad Box, thank you very much. That's pretty awesome. So check out the Big Bad Box's YouTube channel. I wonder if there would be, would there be any interest in doing like a subscription box break one of these days. I mean, that might be interesting, right? Uh, we do these regular box breaks of, um, you know, like everything new that comes up. But maybe when there's kind of like a... a a week or two in the cycle there's nothing new coming out like for example next week there's nothing coming out at all got a rookie card of um carlos lascano there i don't even know which one of those three would be the best one to say had the best career right there that might be an idea we're at 200 likes now thank you very much guys still no ricky henderson but we do have a george stabling and craig stimack and tom tellman three guys that we've never or i've never heard of before at least timmy t time says all of these cards are in amazing shape yeah, I, I love the cards. The, the cards are in great condition coming out of here. That's the nice thing about the Baseball Card Exchange Authenticated Boxes. You know that these cards were never searched up and, you know, handled by somebody else and put back in the packs. There's Jamie Easterly. Barry Evans, here's our 82. We got a Bucky Blanken Dent. Bucky Dent. And there's... Jim Palmer, Hall of Famer Jim Palmer. Looks like got a little bit of sunburn there. Maybe that was taken in spring training. Jerry Turner, Grant Jackson. One good thing you might think, oh, man, we're not finding the uh, Ricky Henderson yet. But the one good thing that I'm noticing is we're not getting repeats. Not a lot of repeats. Very few, if any at all, which is great news. If you remember the 1979 Tops box, we had maybe like um, 10 of each card there. So... We have a nice um, representation from all different sheets right now, so we've got a good shot at finding this. Anthony said, how much does a box of 80 tops go for? Well, $1,500, $2,000. Well, it, if it's not authenticated by the Baseball Card Exchange, maybe around $2,000. If you're looking at a Baseball Card Exchange authenticated sealed box, they are three to $4,000. The one most recently that sold went for $4,000 best offer on eBay. I would expect they'll probably be around that price. It seems like they go up about $1,000 a year. I remember being at the National two years ago. They were $2,000. And uh, I, I guess I, if there's a National this year, they would be probably around three to four. Austin says, for a protein bar later, if you end up eating gum, Austin, thank you very much. I might need to run out to the gas station and get a, a protein bar. Right now, it's looking pretty good, though. I might not have to eat a piece of gum. We only found one of the six good rookie cards that are on the list. Heather's got the link to Austin. I hope you guys will check out his channel. Here's the 80 tops pack for Tim. Let's see if we can find the Ricky. Individual one says, to think all I had to do as a kid was buy these boxes of cards, just hold on to them. Yeah, just, um, that'd be all, just amazing if you would have done that. You'd have, um, I mean, a box of these, 25 cents a pack. You could have bought the entire box for, what, like $9 <laughs> back in 1980? Just, Buy cases and cases and cases of them and just put them away. ABC need one, two, three. Says, hi, Eric. Finally got a, my 51 card SGC submission back after five months. 40% of the cards gemmed. Happy with the grades. Video is up. Good luck all. So ABCs need one, two, three. Check it out. If you guys like graded cards, check out that video and see exactly what cards from 51 he get, got back. Did he get back a 51 Bowman Mantle? Maybe. Check them out. There's Tom Seaver. The Big Bat Boxes will give you and your Patreon members a deal on a case of Big Bat Boxes. We have them on the site. Sold out for November, but maybe in December. The Big Bat Box. All right, we'll keep that in mind for a future break. Maybe we'll do an entire case break of the Big Bat Box. How many cases of, of um, how many boxes are in a case for the Big Bat Box? There's Brog and Brog. <laughs> I'm just making up words now. Brock and Yaz enter the 3,000 hit circle. Lou Brock and. Carl Yastrzemski, two Hall of Famers right there. Nice Rod Carew, 1980 tops. Very nice one right there. Hall of Famer, Eric Wilkins. 12 cases, or 12 boxes in a case. 
That sounds pretty good. We might actually end up picking up multiple cases from you then. Here we go. For Tim. Go ahead and toss this off to the side. Your 1981. We got Mike Boddicker. That's a repeat. That's one of the first repeats we've seen. I remember pointing that out earlier. There's good old Reggie Cleveland. That's a great name. Johnny Walkenfuss. Mike Schmidt. That's a nice record breaker card. We've got Jerry Don Gleaton. So this is a repeat pack from earlier. There's good old Dave Engel. Gary Ward had a pretty nice career. Mr. Dragon says $9 in 1980 is like $20 today with inflation. Okay, so still, that's a pretty darn good deal, spending $20. A pretty good investment, I should say. I wonder if anybody still has like a case of these sitting in their basement or their attic somewhere that they just kind of forgot about. That I'm sure there's got to be boxes or cases of these out there that are still untouched. Get the gum off of there. Not a single card has been gum stained so far, which is great. The gum has been very good to us today. There's a Pete Rose. Look at Pete's hair. Very nice card right there. Joe Price, Hector Cruz. And we are actually, yeah, the gum actually is looking better and better to me. So I'm, I'm actually not regretting offering eating it if we can find all of the rookie cards. So I have a 2001 Topps box. Unfortunately, I do not. Good old Champ Summers again with the mustache. Ellis Valentine, and last one there is Grant Jackson. So, Tim, thank you very much. I was hoping we'd find the Ricky for you, but he's still being a bit elusive. Let's see if we can find him now in spot number 10. This one is for Mr. Mark Smith. Best of luck to you, Mark. Pack number 10 is going to be the first one off the top. There's nine in each stack. Here we go. Let's tuck those back down in there a little bit. They're coming up a little bit. All right, so let's start out. Let's switch it up a little bit. How about we go with the 82 tops first? Maybe that'll bring us some luck. <clears throat> we'll work our way backwards. Hey, we start off with Rod Crew. That's a nice start. Rod Crew, 1982. Um, Sam the Coins Master says, where I think that Yachty and Wayne will end up? That's a good question. I think that Wainwright probably would end up Maybe in Atlanta, since he's from the Atlanta area, I could see him signing a one-year deal down there. And I feel like Yachty should go back to the Cardinals on a one- or two-year deal. I mean, he is Mr. Cardinal. Louis Tion, back with the Buccos for a minute there in his career. That's still a nice card. You can see in his Hall of Fame career, bounced around, pitched for the Pirates for a little bit, not too long. Most of you remember him as a Red Sox. Eddie Murray, that's a great-looking card right there, Hall of Famer Eddie Murray. So maybe it's working out here by doing the <laughs> the cards in reverse order. We also have a Rod Crew sticker for you, Mark. There's a Mike Hargrove and Burt Blylevin. Blylevin is a Hall of Famer. Tom Bernanski rookie card. He had a nice career. Dave Concepcion. So a pretty darn good 82 pack right there. There's Pete Rose. Also, a Joe Morgan. I know that's Vita Blue. Got to look closer there. Vita Blue. <laughs> and Art Howe. Maybe we'll find a Joe Morgan now for you in the 81 pack. Or hopefully we can find one of the good rookie cards. Here we go, Mark. Toss that wrapper off to the side. We got Tommy John leading things off. And there is Mike Rowland, Doug Bird, and Johnny Bench. Nice one right there. So, Mark, if this was a Saturday showdown, you would probably be winning it right now if we were looking for Hall of Famers. You have um, a pretty nice stack of Hall of Famers going. We'll see if we can continue that for you. Now I say that, and we'll probably not find another Hall of Famer in the rest of your um, stack there. There's Randy Jones. Here is the 1980. Oh, Steve Carlton leads things off. Steve Carlton. Go ahead and get that one. Set down there, that piece of gum. All right, Steve Carlton. Looking for Larry Heisel and see if we can find him. He's going to be the indicator here. I'm not worried about not finding the Henderson yet. If it was, uh, if we were the last stack, I would really start to, you know, start feeling the pressure. There's a George Brett. Nice card right there for Mark. Nice George Brett. Steve Renko and Mike Sadik. So, Mark, thank you very much. A lot of Hall of Famers in there. But unfortunately, no Ricky Henderson, which is the big ticket item that we're looking for tonight. In spot number 11, we have James Pachinski. Keep America Great says, Teoscar Hernandez to the Yankees for Aaron Judge. I don't think so. I mean, Teoscar Hernandez had a nice power year last year, but Aaron Judge is um, 
pretty much the face of the Yankees right now. Pack to the Future is here, said, I'm only seven shy of 150 subscribers. Get that, Ricky. Pack to the Future, thank you very much. Hope you guys will check out Pack to the Future's channel. And hopefully we can find that, Ricky. And hopefully it's in this um, lot of cards here. We'll see if we can find it. John John says, Steve Ranko reminded me of Herman Munster. <laughs> Good old Steve Ranko. This gum has just been destroyed. It's all broken up, but doesn't do any damage to the Dave Edwards card whatsoever, which is awesome. <clears throat> all right, so let's see what we can find. There's an in-action card. Rich Gale, Broderick Perkins. Danny Ainge, yeah, he's got a rookie card in, what, 1981 tops. Crossover player there went over to become a basketball star. Almost forgot all about him. Carlton Fisk in action card. Very, very nice one right there. Carlton Fisk. There's Jim Wright. Oh, 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 that's not the right one there. Finally, I got so excited to see his name. Larry Heisel, but um, that's not the year we want him in. Hopefully, he's an 80 tops. He's going to give way to the Ricky if we can find it. All right, 1980 rookie card. Any of these guys ring a bell? Bruce Berigny, <laughs> Jeff Combe, and Paul Householder. Future stars. Man, 81 tops. Didn't do a very good job of predicting the future stars. I guess they got some right, of course, with Fernando Valenzuela and Tim Raines. There's Danny Heap. I would say Heap had the nicest career out of those three. Still looking for Tim Raines. So if we did find Fernando. Looking for Harold Baines as well. All right, here we go. 2000 and, not 2000, 1980 tops. Let's see what we can find now. Larry Parrish leads things off. Ryan says, I never got my payment from the National Treasures Break because I submitted my payment late. I'm not exactly sure what you mean there, Ryan. Are you talking about a refund? Um, I'll check into it. Send me an email and um, I will look into it and if you sent payment after the break had finished, I will refund your money right away. There's Gorman Thomas, Ted Martinez, Luis Gomez, Manny Moda, speedster right there. And we have a Phillies team card right there with manager Dallas Green, World Series champion Phillies there back in 1980. James, unfortunately, no Ricky Henderson. Someone said there that I also want to see the 86 version. You talk about the 86 baseball card exchange. We did a whole collection of these. I already did 83, 84, and 85 last week. And then the previous week, we did uh, 87, 88, 89, and 86 all in there. So check those out. They're probably within the last 14 or 15 videos. If you scroll through, you can check those out. See, Shambi's in the house. <laughs> no Ricky yet, but maybe you'll be our good luck charm and bring it. So spot number 12 is for Ernesto. We got Lynn Jones as our first card. Ryan says, I just checked, got the payment back. My fault. All right, Ryan. I, I remember refunding some people there, but I'm glad that we are good to go. All right, so Lynn Jones, Schultz's card pool says it's almost Friday. Yeah, Friday's here. You know what that means. Uh-oh, and you know what this means, folks. Look who it is. We've been waiting for him. Friday means Tops Update's coming out. So I'll have a preview video for tomorrow. And Larry Heisel is going to be the preview for Ricky Henderson. Let's get the one touch ready. <laughs> here we go, Ernesto. This could be a big one. You can see all the cards in here. Immaculate condition right out of the pack. The next card is Dan Spilner. We were set up for this. Dirk set us up, said it's Larry Heisel, Dan Spilner, and that should give way to Ricky. And there he is, Ricky Henderson. 357 says, boom. Our first Ricky Henderson of the night goes to Ernesto Felix. So first of all, let's go ahead and get this card one touch stub, then we'll take a look at it and see if this is worthy of a PSA 10. Remember, a PSA 10 will go for about $35,000 recently sold. 357 says that is a PSA 10. I hope so. We're going to take a look all around the card. We'll look at the front. We'll look at the back. We'll check out the centering. We'll put these ones down. And here we go. Ricky Henderson, we got the first one done. I'm hoping that that's just the first of many. Well, not many, but I wanted to get two. 
And we've got one right now. Go ahead and encase this. All right, so here we go. Now I don't have to worry about... Um, look at the corners. Oh, man, that's a beauty. That is a beauty. 357 says it's a 10. Doomsday said a 9.5. Even a 9? If this would get a 9, Ernesto, a 9 is recently sold for $3,000. So that's why these boxes are so much. Steve says... <laughs> Super sticker with the money signs in the eyes. Ryan says that's a 10. The internet didn't break this time, says Austin. Uh, she Shami says, actually, that does look pretty centered. Here's the back of the card. Ricky Henderson, will it get a 10? I don't know, but we've got it, and um, that might just be the first one. It's still early. Even if it is a 9, it's a $3,000 card. Ernesto, you are the first big winner of the day. Hopefully, there's going to be many more. So we got Lee Smith done. We've got Ricky Henderson done. And now let's see if we can find the other big ones. I guess um, the next one we're after now is a Cal Ripken Jr. A Cal Ripken Jr. Um, rookie card, PSA 10, goes for 1000 bucks. So... Ernesto, wouldn't that be something if you hit the Cal Ripken Jr. as well? Austin says, Ernesto for the win. How much was the 80 box? I bought all of these in a collection, um, a large collection, so I didn't buy the box individually, but these boxes of 80 go anywhere for between three to $4,000. The most recent one sold for $4,000, best offer on eBay. And um, they just keep going up and up, just for this reason, for a chance to pull a $30,000 card. There's a Terry Harper. Rafael Ramirez probably had the longest career out of these three. Terry Harper was still around. He was playing in the late 80s. I remember his 87 tops traded card. Ryan says, $35,000 hit right there. Nice. I hope it gets a PSA 10. Joshua says, we're going to need an update on this card when it comes back. So, Ernesto, let us know what it gets. I'm hoping that it's at least a 9 for you. As Heather has the link for Steve right there. Heather, thank you very much. And the Big Bad Box says, boom, got to run. Eric, congrats on the Ricky pool, and thank you for all the great things you do for the hobby. Noah, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out the Big Bad Box. <clears throat> the new uh, November releases will be coming out soon, and um, whenever Noah sends me those boxes, we will be opening them for you once again. There's a nice Nolan Ryan card. It's our second Nolan Ryan 81. So Ernesto is having a pretty good round here. Spot number 12, the lucky number, I guess. Someone said they just started collecting Pokemon, found a $500 Pokemon card. That's a pretty nice find right there. Here's 82. Love opening 80 tops. All right, so Ken Brett, brother of George Brett. Good old Dave Steve. Jim Palmer is a Hall of Famer. Ernesto, can we find the Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card for you? We're running out of time right there. And Enrique Romo with some nice flow going on. Pete Vukovic, former pitching coach for the Pirates and also um, antagonist in the movie Major League. Allie Hammamaker. Hammaker. We, my brother and I always called him Hammamaker for some reason. Mispronounced his name. So that's it for Ernesto. You got the Ricky Henderson, man. Congratulations on that one. I think that, um, should we keep that on the screen? Um, let's keep that. Let's, um, I feel like that's worthy of a little bit more screen time. I'll keep your stack up here with your card so people can see that we did pull the Ricky already. And we're going to be looking for more now. Chris is up. Let's see what we can find for Chris. Here we go. Chris, what can we find for you? Can we find another one? We'll see. It's maybe not likely in pack after pack, but you never know. We have had big hits come pack after pack before. I remember distinctly in 83 tops, there was like, in the last stack alone, had like three Tony Gwynn rookie cards in there. So here we go, Chris. Best of luck to you. I'm very, very happy with the condition of these cards tonight. Every now and then, I'm a little nervous that you know, you get a box of baseball card exchange and um, they might have some mildew or mold smell to them. And luckily, these are all pristine. Austin says, these packs look brand new. Yeah, they the cards feel brand new. Um, I wish you could smell the cards. I smell the wrapper and the wrappers just smell like w just wax fresh, just perfect. There's Joe Morgan, not a hint of any kind of um, mildew or anything to these cards. All right, here we go, Chris. See what we can find for you in your 13th pack. Maybe 13 will be a lucky number here. We've got a rookie card there of Tim 
Ireland. Um, who's the best one on there? I, I'm guessing that Manny Castillo may have had the best career out of those three guys in terms of length, longevity, and career. So Terry Kennedy. We've got a Mike Schmidt. He is a Hall of Famer. And we are still Harold Baines list. There's George Brett. Hey, Mud Dog's in the house. Says, hey, Eric, hope all is well. Mud Dog, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Hope you guys will check out Mud Dog's channel. Glad to have you here tonight. We just hit Ricky Henderson in the last pack. <laughs> Austin says, I'll take a stick of gum from my next Patreon package. I don't know if I should do that or not, because if you get sick, I don't want to be held responsible. But um, J John says, are the rappers worth anything? That's a good question. I don't think the rappers are worth all that much um from these series but if you go a little bit older into the 60s and 70s those cards can be worth some money there is a willie stargell hall of fame right there heather's got the link to mud dog heather thank you very much joe ferguson there's rod carew hall of famer rod carew put that one in our sleeve pile so chris thank you very much appreciate that Miss the Henderson by one. If you're wondering how these spots were arrived at, I literally put them in the order that the payment comes in. So whoever paid first gets spot number one, whoever paid second gets spot number two, and so on. Love is up now in spot number 14. Let's see what we can find for you. All right, here we go. Um, let's start with 82 this time. Obsessed Collector says, I've seen a stack of 80s Donruss wrappers go for $3 each. That's pretty crazy. I guess there is some value to these. I know there's value to the boxes. People collect op un opened, empty boxes. I feel like a box of 80 tops could probably sell for $50 to $100, just the empty box by itself. Um, 81, maybe, what, 20 bucks? 82, maybe 10 bucks. I don't know. I guess the more rare the box is, the... More people will pay for that empty box, obviously. There's a good old Hubie Brooks. We've got there it is, Kyle Ripken Jr. for love. So we have our second big hit of the night. It's the Kyle Ripken Jr. rookie card. And that is not going to be a PSA 10. I hate to tell you this. Looking at the top right corner, there is a ding in that corner somehow. Take a look at that. Um, can you see it? Probably like at best of what PSA 7. A very nice card right there. I was hoping for a second. A PSA 10 is going to be um, like a thousand dollar card. 357 said probably a PSA 8 with that slight little, ever so slight ding in that corner. You can see it a little bit better right there. You see that ding? Ah, and look who follows it up. John Wathen. John Wathen must have um, <laughs> damaged the card. So Love almost had it. So maybe a PSA 7. <laughs> Pete says, who cares? There's a John Wathen. So um, we'll see if we can find another one. So we've got three of the big rookie cards that we're after. I said there was six. We found them both from 82 tops. Lee Smith and Kyle Ripken from 81. We're still looking for Reigns and Baines. Uh-oh. And then I'm going to have to eat a piece of gum. Reigns, Baines, and Gibson. So we haven't found any from 81 tops. So <laughs> we'll see. How long have these gems been in your garage, Jab says Schultz's card pulls. Not too long. Hey, Johnny Grubb, absolutely love that name. Johnny Grubb, great card right there. Bob Baylor, there is Ben Ogilvy, Bob McClure, and for some reason, 81 is just not delivering any of the top rookie cards at all for love, or anybody for that matter. Matter. We'll see if the uh, 80 tops can give us the Henderson once again. Larry Heisel will lead the way. If he shows up, we're in good shape. Imagine getting Larry Heisel and he's like the second to last card in your pack. And then you just know who's coming in the next pack. Johnny Grubb looks like Napoleon Dynamite, says Jack Townsend. There's Joe Necro. Sandy says, you can eat the gum off camera so you can stay hidden. We'll believe you. <laughs> you'll probably hear it crunching and then you'll probably hear the disdain in my voice. There's good old John Wathen swinging the bat right there. And Don Gullett. So, love, congratulations on the Kyle Ripken. I'm sorry that it wasn't a perfect PSA 10. <clears throat> I wish it was. Sometimes these cards come out of the box with a little bit of an imperfection in some of them. Sometimes, and unfortunately, that was the case on that one. Here's the spot number 15. It's for Mike V. Let's see what we can find for you. We had uh, last week Aiden Berry find a Tony Gwynn rookie card and had a big, gigantic gum stain on the back. Just absolutely soaked through the card. 
All right, Mike, here we go. You are up. Best of luck. Grant Jackson leads things off. We'll start with the 80 tops pack this time. Willie Stargell. Very, very nice. And Mr. Awesome says, I sent you some mystery packs that are coming to you on Monday. Okay, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I'll check it out. Len Barker. Uh, Steve Trout, no relation to Mike. And Bob Welch, former American League Cy Young Award winner. Let's check out the... Ooh, what the heck is on this pack? That looks pretty gross. <laughs> Just a whole, I don't know, they gave this uh, pack a whole bunch of extra wax, and Charlie Huff takes the wax hit right there. A ton of wax for Mike V. Dirty pack right there. Johnny Grubb once again. Jerry Augustine. Don Robinson. Mickey Hatcher. We've got a future star card, though. Still, it's not the one that we're after. For a second there, I thought maybe that was going to be it, but that's a repeat. And uh, three future star cards there, but still no Tim Raines. Harold Baines or Kirk Gibson. The 81s being a bit persnickety in delivering those. We'll see. I hope we get um, at least the the Reigns and the Baines. The, the Gibson, if we don't get it, that's okay. At least they would get me out of eating a stick of gum at the end. There's a Joe Morgan. Zachary says, how is your Thursday going? Pretty good. We found the Ricky Henderson. We're looking for more. Ricky Henderson, very, very nice condition card. There's a Rod Carew sticker card right there. Ray Knight. Man, that Kyle Ripken snuck up on me, too. I that, It took me a second to kind of um, realize that we had it right there. So, Mike, thank you very much. Next up, it's going to be Jason C. in spot number 14. Let's see what we can find for Jason C., a.k.a. Wave of Cards. Can we find another big rookie card? Randy, thank you very much for the kind words. Start off with the 80 tops pack. I really like the year on the packs. We started doing that in 82. We didn't do that for um, years previously. Here we go. 1980 tops. Nolan Ryan, that's a great card. I feel like a PSA 10 Nolan Ryan's worth a pretty penny. Might not get a PSA 10. Looks like there's a slight stain right about there. But Otherwise, the card looks in pretty good shape right there. So Nolan Ryan, a nice one for Jason C. And uh, let's see what else we can find for you. That's literally the second best card. we got a Mike Scott, very nice rookie card right there. And Jesse Orozco, Bruce Suter, Hall of Famer. Jim Rice, Hall of Famer. So lots of Hall of Famers. And I've got four laid down in my sleeve pile for you, Jason. Pretty good. And it looks like, uh, man, a whole bunch of wax on this one as well the uh, wax machine was really dishing out the uh, wax on this stack of cards from 81 derek says how do you become a member of patreon well if you check out the description we found the trifecta of champ summers by the way uh the description has the links to um my patreon page there's joe morgan we've got the um I'm pretty sure we got the trifecta of joe morgan as well one from each year Nice one right there. But, yeah, it's $3 per month if you'd like to sign up to have access to all of our breaks. Right now, we're filling both Tops Update Jumbos and Hobby. I put the Jumbos on sale yesterday, and I put the Hobbies on sale today. So if you'd like to participate in those breaks, we'll break Jumbos on Friday. Then we'll take a few days off and come back with the Hobbies the following week. There's no new releases coming up next week, so... We'll be live with the Jumbos on Wednesday next week. The the uh, or Sorry, the Jumbos will be Friday on release day. The Hobbies will be on Wednesday. There's a Tim Raines. He is a Hall of Famer. That's a nice card right there. Gorman Thomas. In action, Frank White. And also in action, Rod Carew making the play right there. Fair and Balanced says, Top should make a card of you, Eric. That would be pretty awesome if they would throw me in as a weirdo card in Allen and Ginter or something like that. I feel like um, there's a lot of other guys they have to take care of first. They got to get Dodger Films on a card. They've got to get guys like Fuzzy and um, Mighty Goat on a card, Giraffe Neck Mark, and all those guys that have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And uh, that would be a pretty cool series, I think, having a YouTuber weirdo set. So, Jason, thank you very much. John A is up next in spot number 17, working our way down here. John's a big Yankee fan. So I don't think we've seen many Reggie Jacksons tonight, have we? So maybe we'll find a Reggie. Let's see if we can get it done here. I know that John would, even though he's in an A's uniform, would like the Ricky Henderson for sure, former Yankee right there. Uh, Austin F says, 
Ped's card collection is at 971. Let's get him to 1K. So thank you very much, Austin. I hope you guys will check out his channel and get him to 1K. That's pretty close. We've got 800 people in here watching now if you'd like to help him get there. Really, really appreciate it. Bailey says, who cares if they have 100K? Your content is uh, unique, genuine, and consistent. You deserve the same recognition, recognition anyone gets. Bailey, thank you very much for the kind words. I really appreciate that. There's a Mike Norris. Cesar Cedeno and Dave Tomlin is the last one. So no Ricky in that one. All right, so this 81 Tops back is a little bit better in terms of the wax smeared over the, the back. Not a whole lot of it. Still have yet to find any of the good rookie cards from 81. We found all of them from the other boxes, but 81 is just not participating. They keep giving us the Future Star cards, but we have not yet found the Tim Raines. It's not like there's a whole ton of value to the Tim Raines or... Um, uh, Harold Baines. Anyway, I feel like you can get those cards for just a couple bucks, but it's still nice to find them. A PSA 10, probably a few hundred dollars. I saw a PSA 10 Harold Baines 82 top sold for like 600 bucks like a month ago or something like that. So if it's a PSA 10, it'll be valuable, that's for sure. We can see there's a Steve Sachs rookie card on the back. There's Mookie Wilson, Lee May. Um, Goose Gossage, he's a Hall of Famer. We have Art Howe with Nolan Ryan. I used to have this card as a kid, and I was always super stoked about it. I thought it was really awesome having a card that old of Nolan Ryan. We have Carl Yastrzemski, Hall of Famer. And um, there's the Steve Sachs rookie card and Mike Marshall. Marshall had a nice career. I mean, he was good enough to have his own starting lineup back in, like, 1988. So, John, thank you very much. And you have one more pack coming up here. Let's see what we can find for you in spot number 18. Hunter says, did you find the Kirk Gibson or Fernando Valenzuela yet? We did find the Fernando Valenzuela and Mike Sosha rookie card. I'd probably put that as uh, maybe like the third or fourth. I think going in, I had it at number four. I think I had Kirk Gibson just slightly above that one, but I could see how you could switch those around. I feel like Kirk Gibson had a better career than Fernando, but Sosha also had a great career, nice managerial career as well. All right, John, let's um, let's work our way backwards now and see if we can find good old Ricky Brook. How's it going? We're looking for another Ricky. We found one. We're looking for more. We're trying to be selfish and find... I would like... I want two. That would be pretty awesome to find two. The first one was very, very good shape. <clears throat> and, um, you know, I think, feel like the last time we opened a box, one of the Rickies was in really, really good shape. And another one was kind of uh, iffy. There's a Tony Perez with his helmet falling off. It's a Hall of Famer card right there, though. Jim Clancy. There's Dale Murphy. That's a nice card. Maybe someday Dale will make it into the Hall of Fame. A lot of people think that he should get into the Hall of Fame. Good old scrap iron Phil Garner right there. Jerry Kuzman. We've got some rookies coming up. Steve Sachs rookie card again. Jeff Reardon. Let's go to the 81 pack. 81's just been the uh, frustration point so far. The other boxes giving us the good rookies. The guy, I'm trying to decide as I go along, which gum am I going to eat? The 80, 81, or 82? <laughs> I said at the beginning of the break, if we find the top six rookie cards, I will eat a piece of gum. So we found three, and we found, like, the best three. And we're looking for the uh, the ones from 81 tops right now. That's not going to get the job done. I don't really know if any of these guys ever had much of a major league career. Their names don't look very familiar to me. Uh, Tom says, actually, the 1980 Topps gum looks the best. <laughs> it uh, They all look pretty similar, for sure. Here's the 1980 Topps. Let's see what we can find. Yeah, the, here's the 80 Topps gum, in case you want to see it again. Maybe you just join the stream. All the gum is just... It just literally comes right off the card with no stain at all. 40-year-old <laughs> gum. So here we go with the next pack of 80 tops looking for larry heisel which will give way to ricky henderson once again just like magic it happened in um ernesto's pack we saw larry heisel we knew it was coming up the dan spilner right after that and then boom ricky henderson so if you ever buy a box of 80 tops and you're wondering if it's searched or not if you find the Larry Heisel and then two cards later there's no Ricky Henderson, somebody searched your box and they lifted the Henderson out of there. So that's one thing if you take away from this, if you ever want to buy a box um, and you're wondering if it's searched or not, see if you if you come across a Larry Heisel, you will know if your box has been sorted through. Luckily, 
these are baseball card exchange authenticated sealed boxes. If you missed our intro and we removed the official seals from these. So um, Steve goes through every pack and goes through them with his instruments, looks at them and determines that they have never been opened. And uh, he was right on the money again because we got the Ricky Henderson. There's Walking Fuss again. Ken Oberk fell. Eddie Putman. What's going on with that? Um, <laughs> what's going on with the color job right there? I don't know if that's um, a misprint or if it's an uncorrected error. I just noticed that one. Eddie Putman um, with the coloring error there. So kind of an interesting card, Joseph. Kind of reminds me of, I don't know if that's kind of like a 1991 Mark Winton where there's a little bit of a mistake in the border. I don't know if they ever fixed it or not. All right, next pack. The Quest for Artifacts says, Hope everyone is having a great evening. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. The Quest for Artifacts. Check his channel out, everybody. And we've got Ned Yost, former manager there for the good old Royals. Good old Ned Yost. World Series champion manager back in 2015. Champ Summers again. He's probably found more of him than anybody else. Hey, we got Fernando again. Fernando Valenzuela, Mike Sosha. That's probably, I'm putting that in probably the fourth best rookie card in the set. You can still pick this card up raw for about a dollar at card shows and card stores here and there. Of course, Fernando kind of faded away. Fernando Mania faded away in the late 80s, but he had a great start to his career. Mike Sosha, a strong career as well. And there's a Tony Pena rookie card for the second time. Um, some pretty solid players right there. Pasquale Perez had a nice career, and so did Vance Law. And Dirk says, found two Bowman Platinum boxes in two Walmarts during the second day of this week's road finds. Doing Chicago to Virginia and back this round, looking to cross 100. Dirk, thank you very much. That is some dedication right there. So if you like the uh, Walmart videos that we do, you got to check out Dirk's channel. Thank you very much, Dirk. And Austin says, check out classic cards for a mix of old and new. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Classic Cards. Austin approves of their channel. So check them out. And Jack says, do you give baseball packs away to your students? Every now and then, sometimes we'll play a review game. And um, that might be one of the prizes that they win. It'll be like a pack of, uh, I don't know, like 89 tops or something like that. But yeah, every now and then. Juan Boni is right there. Manny Trio. Um, my Walmart had about 15 Platinum boxes today. It says Jackpots After Dark. I'm going to have to get out there and hit the road and see if I can find Bowen Platinum. There's Bobby Barnes. Maybe I'll check it, out, check it out and see if I can find any boxes tomorrow and send you a new release preview video. Let's show you what you can expect from a box of those. That would be pretty nice. All right, so Joseph, thank you very much. Unfortunately, no Ricky. Austin says I gave up on retail. <laughs> a lot of people have given up on retail. Just um, it gets a little old going into Walmart after Walmart after Walmart and never finding anything. It's just um, it's like why am I wasting my time doing this? Robert, you're up right now. Let's see what we can find for you in spot number twenty. Let's start with the eighty tops pack. Buddy Bell leads the way. G Man's found some platinum at Walmart today, so congratulations on that. What is the resale on the Bowen Platinum? That's going to be a big indicator if you're going to be able to find it or not. If uh, the resale is like double, then um, you're never going to find it. Sir Laughs a Lot says, do you still give the Patreon members a monthly box? It depends on their tier, but yeah, we do do that. I just created a new tier today. I was getting some feedback over the past couple months from people on the $100 tiers, and some of them were like, hey, can you send me a instead of a, an old wax box, uh, because on the $100 tier, they would get like an old wax box from the 80s. They would get five newer packs. They would get a hanger box or a fat pack. They'd get a Major League Baseball. They would get a new blaster box, all within like a medium flat rate box. But a lot of people were always asking for like a, a second blaster box instead of the old. So I made a new tier today. It's it's the $99.99 tier, $99. And um, you get two. Basically, I just listened to them. You get two blaster boxes. So... Um, the one for this month, you're going to get a 2020 Topps update box and then another uh, box of something recent, either uh, Topps Archives, Stadium Club, or uh, Alan and Ginter, depending on what I have. I have all of those available. It just depends on the demand. There's a Bob Boone. Fergie Jenkins, Hall of Famer Fergie Jenkins. Greg Nettles and Dave Frost. Here's the 82 for you. Diego says, I started collecting in 1980, so that's pretty awesome. 
I bet you that uh, watching these 80 Topps cards being opened up brings back a lot of memories. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like the 82 gum looks like the safest bet. It's the... No, I don't know. There's something on that right now. That might be a piece of the card. It kind of looks the pinkish, pinkish of them. Uh, Boy Sports Card says, Could you give Bob's Card Market on Discord a shout? So, boys, thank you very much. Bob's Card Market on Discord, guys. Check them out. And, boys, thank you very much for the support. I really appreciate that. I don't do too much on Discord. In fact, I've never been on Discord. I probably should make one. There's Fernando. We have a sticker card coming up here of Jerry Remy. These were previews. These were um, put into packs. I can't remember the month, but um, there was at one point during the season they put these sticker preview cards in the 82 boxes. Not all 82 boxes have those. Jack Townsend says maybe when I get good exam grades, I'll get a $99 tier. So, Jack, thank you very much. That would be pretty cool. Would love to uh, have you aboard. There's Claudel Washington. And Greg Nettles once again. And Bob Ojeda is the last one right there. So, Robert, thank you very much. All right, it's about time to find another Ricky. We found one Ricky in the first half of the box. Diego, thank you very much for signing up. I really appreciate that, man. We'll be having uh, your packs in the mail probably, I don't know, maybe at the end of next week. I'm going to wait until I get my um, start getting my boxes of tops update in to populate those um packs but yeah you'll get a pack of uh 2020 tops update in there heather's got the link for bob's car market and also she says she can't find boys so if anyone can find boys please help heather out heather thank you very much for dropping links down how's it going over there heather i'm hoping that heather is going to be in the house on friday night tomorrow for our tops update break it's a possibility we'll see about it there's no work the next day, that's for sure. Paul Molitor, nice one right there. Hall of Famer Paul Molitor, ECC, thank you very much. What's the estimated grade on the Ricky? Says Jordy Well, Some people said a 10, some people said a 9. It's it's a very, very nice, very, very nice card. Um, no flaws on it. There's no printing flaws or wax or anything like that. I'm glad to hear it, Heather. Going pretty well over here. I have... Project will be done in about, oh, we've been doing this for 72 minutes, so probably about, what, 40 more minutes? Usually these uh, three box breaks like this take about two hours to do because, I mean, we don't rush through the cards. We like to look at all, all of them because we're looking for the good rookie cards. Um, Rob Wilfong is the last one for Jonathan. So, Jonathan, here's your 82 packs. Let's see what we can find for you right now. We have a Larry Gura on the back. Yeah, I don't know. That 82 gum looks kind of tempting. I think I'm going to eat a pack of or a stick of 82 if we find those rookies. But we're running out of time. Cards and Sharps says, I found Platinum today. I need to get out there and start looking for it. My Walmarts typically don't stock until the weekends. So there's a Brett Butler rookie card. He used to bunt a lot. Nice leadoff guy. Jay Howell, rookie card. Wave of cards says, hey, Eric, fun break. Just catching up. Did you know Fernando rookie card is a pop zero in PSA 10? That's crazy. Really? So there's zero Fernando Valenzuela rookie cards in a PSA 10. That's um, pretty nuts. So I'll make sure to get all those. Um, I'll have to top load all those up in that instance. Not a whole lot of value to that card. Just like I said, raw, you can get it for like a dollar. But I don't know. A Maybe a, a PSA 10? What would that go for? A thousand bucks, maybe? I don't know. That's pretty pretty um, thought-provoking right there. So, Edward, let's see what we can find for you in spot number 22. Get your three packs out of here, and here we go, 1980. Sandy says, you should do some more National Treasures. That was a great break. Yeah, that was a fun one. Um, I'll tell you what, maybe I'll grab another case or two of those and uh, we'll do those coming up for, I don't know, maybe a Saturday showdown in a couple weeks or just another break in general. We've got a future star card there, Mike Scott rookie card. There's Bruce Suter. He is a Hall of Famer. So the Reds team card there, Jim Rice, Hall of Famer. Yeah, the Babe Ruth relic was super cool. That came early in that break too. I think it was the first box. What a way to start, huh? Babe Ruth game used jersey. All right, here we go, 1981 tops. Let's see if we can find 
for Edward. Looking for the big rookie cards. Future Star card coming up. Is it going to be... No, we cannot find Tim Raines whatsoever. Reggie Cleveland again. Ken Brett. We haven't found Harold Baines either. All right, Edward. Let's see what we can find now in your last pack. Got Tim Raines on the top there. That's not the one we're after, though. Tim Raines, Hall of Famer. I'll sleeve him up. Frank White, Rod Carew. Nice Hall of Famer right there. Bruce Keeson. Steve Howe. Here's the sticker card there of Gorman Thomas. We have a Kiko Garcia. Jerry Naren. And Pete Rose All-Star card. So no Cal Ripken in that pack. We're about due for another Lee Smith. We found the Lee Smith pretty early. I feel like the Lee Smith was in box, I don't know, single digits. All right, so Edward, your spot's in the books. Thank you very much. Now we're moving on to spot number 23. This is for Larry Joe. Spot number 23, Lawrence. Maybe you'll find the Ricky. We'll see. I'm hoping we, for, we can find two. Now, it's expected on average that you find about one. Um, I forget how many cards are in 1980 tops. It might be 726 or something like that. Uh, but there's, what, 540 cards in a box. So on average, you're... I don't know. You get like 0 0.8. I don't know. Mathematicians can probably tell us that. But <clears throat> we were lucky to find one, and I'm hoping we can find two. Like I said, the first box ever I did of 1980 Tops, <laughs> it was one of the biggest videos on my channel. It has like 180,000 views, and we didn't find the Ricky Henderson at all. <laughs> I was really bummed out about that one. But we did find him in our next attempt times at least two. All right, here we go. 1980 Tops. If you don't find Larry Heisel, you're not going to find him, so he's not there. Let's check out the 81. Lee, how's it going? We found Ricky already, a really nice condition Ricky. I'll show it to you again. There's a Ricky 81 at the end of the break, and uh, we're looking for more. The 81 Tops box, there's our first Reggie Jackson, by the way. I don't think I've seen him at all in any of these boxes. 81 Tops is just um, not really participating in giving us any of the top rookie cards. There's three rookie cards I'm looking for in 81 Tops. Tim Raines, Harold Baines, and Kurt Gibson. We haven't found any of them. We did find two Fernando Valenzuela rookies, though. All right, Larry, here's your last one. We found Kyle Ripken Jr.'s rookie already, although the one of the corners had a slight ding in it, so <clears throat> probably like a PSA 7. So we got to try to find another one, and... Improve upon that Jerry Remy sticker card there. And here comes another Ricky Henderson. It is a stolen base leader card with Tim Raines. Jack says, are there still spots for tomorrow? Um, For the jumbo, leading in this afternoon, we I had eight jumbo boxes left. I mean, if a bunch of people still want jumbos, I could maybe head out to Steel City tomorrow and pick up another case. It's a possibility. Uh, we'll probably start tomorrow's break between 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Jacob's up right now. Let's see what we can find for Jacob. Let's start off with pack number 3, 1982 Tops. We'll work our way back. See if we can't find you that Cal Ripken Jr. Lisa got to wear Dave Roseman's 1984 World Series ring. That's pretty cool. Uh, how much is a hobby box? I think it's, what, 134 Or Gary Carter. All the shipping and PayPal fees are all factored into that already. We've got Al Bumbry. Tim Wallach. There's a sticker of Jose Cruz, father of Jose Cruz Jr., who was once a rookie sensation back in, like, 1997. And another father right there, Ken Griffey, of course. And um, Raleigh Fingers. The uh, CEO of Yak Packs, <laughs> which I've got to get some Yak Packs opened up on the channel. I feel like a lot of you guys in the card community have opened those up and gotten a good laugh out of them. I feel like there's um, the redemptions in there are written on like post-it notes and stuff like that. <laughs> there is a Tito Landrum. Maybe for uh, April Fool's Day, we'll do a large-scale... Um, yak pack break. Just open a whole bunch of boxes of those just for laughs. All right, Jacob, here's your last shot. It's going to be the Ricky Henderson pack, hopefully, for you. We'll see if we can find it. There's Burt Hooten on the back. 
got a huge stack of these wrappers now. I'm going to clean out all the gum. Throw all those away. Probably hang on to the wrappers. There's Jim and Dwyer, Charlie Huff. This card's sticking a little bit. It's the Dodgers team card. And unfortunately, no Larry Heisel in there. So, Jacob, thank you very much. We're at spot number 25. Still about, what, 11 packs left to go in each one. Austin says... Raleigh needs an asterisk on his Hall of Fame plaque because of the Yak Packs. <laughs> and Goonie says, why are there so few PSA 10s in Topps early 80s? There's only 24 Rickies available, but there's 4,600 PSA 10 86 bonds, for example. <clears throat> um, that's a good question, Goonie. It might have something to do with the way the cards were packaged. The 86 Topps bonds, those only came in those traded sets. So I feel like people would just buy a case of 86 tops traded, and right there, boom, in that one case, they have 100 Barry Bonds rookie cards, and they just send all of those in, in to get graded, and then maybe like a few of them will come back as a PSA 10. He's right smack dab in the middle of that um, set, so that might have something to do with it. I'm not exactly sure. Um, maybe there's a, a whole bunch of those cases were just sitting around and not a whole lot of these... Um, 80 tops boxes. I mean, the only way you're going to get a PSA 10, if somebody had an 80 tops Henderson in their collection, they probably had it in a shoe box, or even if they could carry their card, it's still probably going to be like a PSA 8 or 9 because they probably like slipped it down in like a sleeve or like uh, something like that and slightly just nicked the corner. Here we go, Pablo. Let's see what we can find for you in spot number 25. We've got Mike. Lum or Loom, not sure how that's pronounced. Got to be one of those two. Victor Cruz, Ellis Valentine. I used to have that card as a kid. That was like the only 1980 Tops card I had for a little while. I used to think it was really awesome. Let's see what else we can find. Phil Necro is a nice one. We have Dorian Boyland, Steve Henderson, and a Rangers team card there, 1981. Gimmicky Fibers, you're in... Um, you're up there in Canada. I think I have your stuff on the uh, homeless section of the shelf. So just send me another email, ericg underscore 100, and um, I will get those out to you tomorrow, actually. I'm going to be working on sending a bunch of stuff tomorrow. We have a Terry Pool. There's still no Harold Baines. Come on, Baines. Watch, we got like a sheet C box of 81 tops with no Baines. I'm not going to find them. Baines or Reigns. Let's see what we can find in the 82 box for Pablo. There's Alan Trammell. He's a Hall of Famer. Very, very nice one. Mikey says, what was the card opening video that started all for you, Jabs? I probably, on YouTube, the first one I remember doing was a 2017 Top Series 1 box. Whenever that came out in, like, I don't know, like February or March of 2017. Uh, what, like over three years ago, three and a half years ago, there's Andre Dawson. Good old Johnny Grubb hitting the Johnny Grubb trifecta. I should start PCing Johnny Grubb. There's Tim Raines, Rick Peters, Dave Parker, and Tom Seaver, along with Jack Morris, two Hall of Famers. So, Pablo, thank you very much. Spot number 26 is coming up next. Starting to kind of uh, get down towards the end of the third stack. There's Anthony's first pack. That's 80. Here's 81. Here's 82. It'll only be, um, I don't know, maybe another 20 minutes. Maybe a little longer, I don't know. PR says, I used to love watching your batting practice fly ball videos. Yeah, those were pretty interesting, huh? It was part of the um, metamorphosis of the channel. Started out doing some family vlogs and then moved into uh, the baseball industry, doing all my experiences at the ballpark, catching home run balls early, and then moved into doing cards. Austin found the ball hawking videos relaxing. That's pretty cool, man. I'm glad you liked them. Maybe one of these days I'll get back and do do some more of those for you guys. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. MLB fan love the MLB The Show videos. Used to do those as well back in the day. Yeah, those are really old ones. Tom Seaver, that's a nice one right there. Hall of Famer Tom Seaver. I'm starting to lose faith that we're going to find any of the top three rookie cards from 81 Tops. We found three Jerry Don Gleaton so far. Fans in the stands next year, PR? Well, I hope so. Um, in Pennsylvania, I think now our governor, um, who literally never makes any sense, 
issued a decree that you're allowed to have like a gathering of like 7,000 people if it's outside or something like that, maybe, I, I think. Um, even though there's more cases than ever, but back in March when there's like 300 cases in the whole state, you like couldn't even go get together with like 10 people. I have no idea. So I guess whatever the governor has come up with arbitrarily state to state, that's what it's going to be. So I hope that there's fans allowed in some capacity back next year. Be very, very nice. We have a Raleigh Fingers and Bruce Suter is the last one right there. So, Anthony, thank you very much. You're in the books. Next up, spot number 27. This is for Edward. This is the last pack off of stack number three. We only have one stack left in each of these boxes. So nine packs left after this. Bobby Gritch leads things off. Mr. Mendoza says, I remember my first video of yours I saw was the Christmas present opening one. I don't even know if I remember that one. That must have been a long... Was that like a, the kids opening their presents on Christmas? I can't even remember. That was must have been a long, long time ago. We started the channel back in 2016, February of 2016. Uh, Jack says, do you still have your beard from two years ago? Nope, it's, uh, it's shaved. I'm clean shaven. What is this? A piece of like grass just <laughs> or something. It looks almost like grass came out of this pack. See that green stuff? There, you can see a little bit better against that gum. What is that? Well, not eating any gum from 81 Tops now. That's pretty gross. Austin says, you think it found me through recommended videos. That's awesome, man. Yeah, sometimes YouTube can really be your best friend helping you out by pushing your videos and recommending you. Ozzy Smith is a nice one. Mike says, everyone needs to go and make the Jabs 2017 Series 1 as a trending video, the rookie card video, if you will, for the card father. Oh, man, it's a terrible video, too. It is an absolutely terrible video. I'm like... Hey guys, uh, I think I'm gonna do something different today and open a, a box of 19 or uh, 2017 series one. <laughs> There's just like no excitement in my voice at all. You could tell that I'd never opened cards before. All right, Ed, let's see what we can find in your next pack. Matt, doing pretty well. How are you doing? Thanks for stopping in tonight. There's a Burton Blyle. We're looking for the good rookie cards. We already found. One Ricky, we're looking for more. There's Chris Chambliss, Tommy Herr, Jorge Bell, a.k.a. George Bell. So, Ed, no Ricky in that stack. Next up, we have Michael in spot number 28. Michael's actually got two spots, 28 and 29. We'll start with your first one. Good luck, man. Now, Ricky Henderson came out of the opposite stack here. Maybe we'll find another one. I hope so. Tim Blackwell. I'll get excited if we see Larry Heisel again. Uh, Lisa said, did you and Heather meet through the love of baseball? No, we didn't. Uh, we actually went to high school together, and then we ran into each other um, back in late November of last year at Chick-fil-A. Believe it or not, there's Roy White. And uh, that, was, uh, that was just a talk about a lucky find. You guys always talk about the lucky finds we have in baseball card packs. That was my luckiest find ever, finding a true one of one. There's Joe Morgan. That's a nice card right there. <laughs> Austin says, I don't know people from my high school anymore. Yeah, that's um, that's more than I know. Well, I guess my, my friend Joe from Joe's Card Corral and Heather, that's about it. There's Shuby Brooks, Mookie Wilson rookie card. Kind of a nice one. So that's our first Mookie Wilson. Gives me a little bit of hope to maybe find the Tim Raines. This, this is mine too, Eric. What a great find. When people say, what's your best find ever? I should just say, Heather. There's Goose Gossage. He's a Hall of Famer. Reggie Jackson, our first Reggie of the day. We got to find him in 80 tops. And 81 uh, tops now. And there's Pete Redfern. Don't remember him at all. And Dave Roberts. So, Michael, thank you very much. That's your first stack. 
Peyton says, if you are you going to eat the gum? I said I would eat the gum if we find the top six rookie cards that I listed. So we found number one, two, and three. We found Ricky Henderson, Cal Ripken Jr. already, and Lee Smith. We have not yet found Tim Raines, Harold Baines, or Kirk Gibson. So if we find them, I'll, I will literally eat an entire stick of this crap <laughs> and hopefully survive. Michael's up right now. I feel like when we did 86 through 89, we found all of them, like every single one. I think there's like nine or ten rookie cards that I um, quoted as the best cards. We found them all. Last week, there was uh, – I think there was nine top rookies that we were after, and we found six of them. I don't think we found the Pucket, and I don't think we found the Boggs, but we found the others. And we didn't find the Mattingly. There's a Tom Paquette. There is Brock and Yaz. That is a nice one right there. We've got Jim Wright and Ron Carew. He is an all-star. So you got a couple, uh, a Hall of Famer rather. You got two Hall of Famers right there. And Michael Coleman says, let's go. Michael, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Let's see if we can find something now. In the 81... Tops pack. Bob Clark is the first one. Uh, Pete Rose. Oh, there it is. Finally, the Tim Raines. So I'm a little bit close to eating a piece of gum. Tim Raines, Hall of Famer. You can check it out right now. On there with Bobby Pate or Pate. Not sure how he pronounced it. And Roberto Ramos. A nice card right there. Tim Raines, rookie card. Probably not a PSA 10. Looks like there's a slight little... Blah, right there, blemish, but a nice card for Michael. So the Tim Raines rookie card. Now all we have to find is Kirk Gibson and Harold Baines, and we'll have them all. That'd be pretty cool. All right. So next up here's the eighty-two. Kenny says yes. Finally, we found a Tim Raines rookie card. We've got the R Ricky. That was number one. I want to find another one of those. I also want to find another Cal Ripken Jr., if at all possible. Good old Dan Quisenberry. Our Oliver Sticker card falls out of there. Got a White Sox card. Here's the Oliver in case you're wondering what it looks like. All right, so Michael, congratulations on finding the Tim Raines rookie card. That checks another one off our list. Now we're moving on to OMG Card Pools. I'm not sure if he's in the house tonight. But here we go. Spot number 30, OMG. Let's see if we can find you a nice hit. Start with your 1980 Tops pack. Jim Palmer, Hall of Famer. Little bit of wax on it from being on the back of the pack. Ray Fossey, former All-Star, got blown up at home plate by Pete Rose. Alan Trammell, his career was never the same. Uh, ECC says, I keep smelling the scent of Jamestown Vintage Store where I saw vintage junk wax. Yeah, I get the, I get that. Whenever I walk into a card store and smell that, you know, that vintage smell of, of baseball cards, it just brings back memories. Like, uh, Triple Play Vintage smells like that. It's got that classic card store smell. Schultz's Card Pool says, announcing that... Announcing here that I'll have a 2020 Topps Chrome Hobby Box up for grabs at 2000 Only 700 more to go. Let's uh, find those rookies. Thanks, Jeff. Schultz's Card Pools. That's a very nice one right there. Really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Schultz's. You'll be at 2000 before you know it, man. Really appreciate that. 2020 Topps Chrome. That is a great, great box. All right. So what can we find for OMG in our next... Pack looking for Harold Baines now or Kirk Gibson. Those are the only two that we haven't found. We found everybody else. Um, looks like he's not going to be in that pack. Boston Red Sox. Jason says, in his opinion, 1982 Tops is one of the most beautiful sets of all time. Yeah, 82 definitely a nice set. Here's the design. Kind of reminds me a lot of 2019 Tops. When I first saw 2019, the first set that came to mind was 1982. Heather's got the link to Schultz's card polls right there. Please go over there and give him a sub. John points out the 82 Ripken update's worth more. Yes, indeed it is. It's worth a lot more. That's his first card ever by himself. Chris Chambliss, Ray Searidge, former Buckos 
pitching coach. We got a Johnny Ray rookie card there, along with Vance Law. So OMG card pulls, thank you very much. We're getting down towards the end of it. Spot number 31. There's only 36 packs total up for grabs. Let's see what we can find for Jen in spot 31. It's 31, 1980, 81, and 82. Next week, we'll be doing another baseball card exchange box. It'll be 1972. OPG trying to pull Roberto Clemente and Hank Aaron 1972 cards out of there. That's going to be a fun one. All right, here we go. 82 tops. Ozzy Smith. That's a great card right there. Ozzy Smith's second year card. That's widely considered as probably the third best card in the set. Right behind the Ricky and the Nolan Ryan. Some nice value to that card in the PSA 9 or 10. That's for sure. And Jim Cott, Rick Sutcliffe rookie card, and Joe Morgan. So some nice ones right there. We'll sleeve up those ones. 1981. Yikes. What is that brown stuff on that? I don't want to touch that. <laughs> Pretty gross. Let's go ahead and see what... The, the gum looks pretty good, though. The, the wax wrapper, not so much. Mike Heath, Bob Boone. There's good old Greg Nettles. Sandy says the last 1980 toss pack is going to yield a final Henderson. We'll see. Another Tim Raines. So two Tim Raines rookie cards. This one appears to be in a little bit better shape than the last one. So congratulations on that, Jen. Our second Tim Raines rookie card. 357 says 75 tops next Thursday. BBC, probably more than 10K. Yeah, I think it's about 20K for a box of 75. At least tops. OPG is always a little cheaper. Jack Townsend says, hey, Jabs, I have to ask, how do you keep everything so organized with the cards and mailing out? Jack, that's a great question. Um, I, have a, I have a pretty big finished basement, and I have a whole section now that's just dedicated to... Um, it's like a whole bunch of shelves in there keeping these cards organized. So they're organized by first name. So Jen will go on the J shelf. And there's actually the J shelf is broken into like three different shelves. It's like the JAs have their own shelf for everyone that has like the name like Jack. Um, the, the JOs have their own shelf because a whole lot of people have the word the first name like John. And then the JEs and JUs have their own sh shelf as well. So, yeah, they're just organized by um, first name. So... When it comes time to do the Patreon package, I'll go through the list. Patreon gives me a list of everything that I owe for each tier, and I'll just go down the list and then kind of like look at the first names on there, then look at the shelves and do all of those. And then after I do all the Patreon packages for the month, then I start um, working on the people that, that are still left on the shelves because those are the $3 tier members, which, by the way, is the biggest tier that we have, most popular. Uh, also the most affordable, obviously. So, Jen, congratulations on the Aussie Smith second year card and also the Tim Raines rookie card. A pretty nice lot right there for you. Next up, we're getting down towards the end. Denny K is up. Denny K, spot number 32. We've got 1980 tops. We've got 81 tops and 82. Here we go. Looking for our second Ricky Henderson of the night. Wouldn't that just be awful, by the way, if we found a Larry Heisel in the last pack and it was like the last card or next to last card? So, you know, the, the next pack up would have had the Ricky in it. So whatever box was stuffed after this one, the first pack would have had the Ricky. I hope that doesn't happen. There's a nice Fergie Jenkins. He's a Hall of Famer. Nice Frank White all-star card. Dave Collins, Tommy John. Daryl Porter, and we have Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer Dave Winfield, 1981. What is this black stuff on there? Yikes. At least we're finding some Reigns rookie cards now. Still like to find the Gibson and the Harold Baines. Find them all. That'd be pretty awesome. Industrial Waste. It looks like it. Yuck. I don't even want to speculate what that might be. There's Ned Yost. No DePinos net yet. No Frank DePinos. I don't think we've seen any of him. His rookie card, I think, is 82 tops. Come to think of it. Mike Squires. Roy Lee Jackson. And a Pete Rose record breaker card. Next up, pack number three. Austin thinks that Tommy John deserves the Hall of Fame. I think some people would agree with you on that one. 
Tommy John had a very, very long, long career and revolutionized baseball with the uh, surgery that he had in his career. Now has saved, has saved so many pitchers. Nice Goose Gossage, Terry Harper. Reggie Jackson, our second Reggie Jackson from 82 tops. Looking for a Cal Ripken. Here's the sticker card once more. A mess of things says, is the $4 tier all filled up? Yes, it is a mess of things. I've retired that tier. Um, the $4 tier is filled. Probably um, going to actually delete it soon. I'm trying to kind of pare, pare it down a little bit so there's not so many different choices. Make it um, a little bit easier on my end just to um, you know get the packs all put together. So, Denny, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. All right, here we go. And thank you very much to Amessa Things for the super chat. Thanks for all you do, man. Next up, spot number 33. This is for Seth. Getting down towards the end of it. We've got three packs left in each box after these ones. So here we go. We've got Bob Montgomery leading things off. Dusty Baker getting some dust on him, some literal gum dust. I like Dusty Baker. I'm just glad that he got another managerial job. Kind of a little upset that it had to be with the Astros of all the teams. Louis Tiant and Dusty Baker. All right, here's what? I don't even know what that smudge stuff is. Trying to keep it from like touching my fingers, but it's kind of tough to do. It's not mold. If you smell the cards, the, the cards smell really good. Just like they would if they were fresh out of the pack. I have no idea what's causing that. You could tell that it's the, if it was mold, that gum would just be sticking to the card and creating a, a stain on the back of the card, but there wasn't any moisture on with any of these boxes. There's a Steve Carlton. Get that one sleeved up. Yeah, the cards smell great. A mess of things says there should be a separate section for people whose record isn't enough, uh, but they had some other significant impact on the sport. A mess of things, that's not a bad idea. Talking about the Hall of Fame, maybe making a, you know, a, a lifetime achievement wing of the Hall of Fame. They do have a broadcasting wing of the Hall of Fame. There's Heather with a mess of things channel. He's almost at a thousand. Heather, how many subscribers is a mess of things at? Maybe we can get him to a thousand soon if he's pretty close. Hall of Very Neat. Yeah, there's there's um people that revolutionize the game definitely could have uh, their own little wing there, guys like Tommy John. But in that case, would Jose Canseco get into the Hall of Fame then? Because he pretty much uh, led the way and blew the lid off the whole steroid thing. Hey guys, a mess of things at nine seventy three. Can we get him to a thousand right now? That'd be pretty cool. A 977 now, so he just jumped a few. Uh, he needs 23 people. That'd be pretty nice to get him to a thousand. There's a Tony Perez. I know we could do it. 830 people in here. We've got. I'm sure we can find 20 some people that haven't subscribed to him. Heather, did you drop the link for him? A mess of things has been a long time um, moderator here. It really helps out a lot with keeping things running smoothly. We have um, pack number 34 coming up right now. For Nathan, let's see what we can find for you. A mess of things. Do you have your 4,000 hours yet? As you know, if you want to start making money on YouTube, there's two thresholds you have to cross. For those of you that don't know, hey, Heather's got the link again. So check them out. A mess of things. Get into 1,000 right now. That'd be awesome. You got to have 4,000 watch time hours, and you also have to have 1,000 subscribers, and then you can start um, putting some ads in your videos. 357 says, Clint Hurdle, is he going to manage again? He's only 63. 357, I don't know about that. Clint Hurdle's got a uh, family, a young daughter who's probably about 12 years old now or something like that. Mess of Things is at 983, live counter right there. It's like watching the vote titles come in, watching those vote titles go up. Reggie Jackson, 82. 984, Raleigh Fingers. Allen was 984. Tony Perez. I don't think that he is going to manage again, personally, if I had to bet money on it. Dave Winfield. That's a nice run of Hall of Famers right there. Reggie Jackson. Raleigh Fingers. Whoa, he's at 999. That's a big jump right there. Guys, thanks for helping him out. Who wants to be his 1,000th? There's Doug Flynn. Tony LaRusse is a Hall of Famer. Yeah, 357. 
first ever manager of the year. And Heather says that a mess of things has reached 1,000 just like that. So a mess of things. Congratulations, man, on that last little push. We got you over the line. There's Tom Seaver. Thanks, guys, for helping him get there. Tom Seaver. So a really nice pack there for Nathan. One, two, three, four, five. Five Hall of Famers within your 15-card pack. A third of your pack was Hall of Famers. Very, very nice. J-Bob says, excited to see that Ricky Henderson, or see that Ricky Henderson. Uh, I'll have to watch the replay. Congrats to whoever nabbed it. That was Ernesto. I'll show the card to you in a little bit. Uh, I'm only five away from my Trouty giveaway. So, J-Bob and Sons, thank you very much. I hope you guys will check out J-Bob if you want to get in on that Trout giveaway as well. It only needs five subscribers there, too. So <laughs> if you're feeling generous and you already subbed up the mess of things, get him to 1,000. How about J-Bob, too? There's Heather with the link. I don't know what we'd do without you, Heather. Thank you very, very much for the help. Makes it really easy to uh, find channels with the links being dropped in the chat rather than having to search them on your own. There's Gaylord Perry, Hall of Famer right there. <laughs> Austin says, I can't get back to zero for the life of me. He's been trying to go the opposite direction. Uh, there is Dennis uh, Kinney. I have over 10,000 watch hours. All right. Well, mess of things, you're good to go now, man. Within about a week or two, you will be monetized, and you'll be able to start making some money for your videos. Congratulations, man. Welcome to the Monetization Club. That's always the goal of anybody that makes um, YouTube videos, especially, um, you know, all the time. You want to be at least compensated for your work. There's Gaylord Perry. I mean, a lot of us just do it for fun, but it's nice to, you know, get that little bit of ad revenue. It's it's not much per 1,000, but, it, I mean, it's something. 357 says, if anyone was going to manage again, it would have been Bill Cower, legendary coach for the Steelers back when I watched football in the 90s. 357. I don't know anything about football, but I do know Bill Cower. Everybody was always talking about Cower Power. That's how people around Pittsburgh would talk. They'd literally say Cower Power. Um, and most of you'd be like, what? Can you say that again? For Cower Power? Yep, I remember the uh, good old days of the 90s Steelers. I actually used to watch football every now and then, and then... Um, Pirates were bad for so long, and everybody was just saying, oh, Pirates suck. Stop liking them. They're terrible, and people would kind of like harass me about it. And then I was like, you know what? Forget you and forget the Steelers. I'm uh, I'm all in to baseball. That's, that's all I like now. There's a Mike Jorgensen. Man, that 80 gum looks pretty good. So we've got two more packs to find the Banes. There's a Raleigh Fingers. Tell you what, if we can find, maybe I will just sample the gum here. I'm definitely not doing it from 81. By the way, we've got a rookie card there of Larry Anderson. I'm definitely not doing it. I got all this crap all over my breaker mat. You can't see it, um, but if you look down, there's all this crap all over my breaker mat from the uh, 81 tops packs. <laughs> like, what is this crap? It's probably got, like, gonna like st stick to my breaker mat and ruin it. About due for another new breaker mat, anyway. This, I've had this one for a long time. We've got Alex Trevino leading things off. It has to be machine grease, says Austin. Yeah, that might be right. J Bobman says, says, Holy cow, I blew right past it. Make sure you comment on my trot video giveaway. Thanks so much. So, thanks for helping him blow past his subscriber mark, Mark everybody. It was very, very nice of you guys. And hopefully, you comment so you can get in on that giveaway. Steve Carlton. Daryl Porter, um, Larry Bittner, Bill Stein, and a record breaker, Steve Carlton card for Tim. Here's the 1982 playing baseball card. Since I went to college in Pittsburgh, made some great friends, but it was rough being from Cleveland, though, that's for sure. Um, playing baseball cards, what college did you go to? Did you go to Pitt? Duquesne? What else do we have around here? Robert Morris? I wonder if you went to the college that I went to. I bet you not. I went to a very small college. There's Mike Eastler, Jerry Royce, Carlton Fisk, Gary Carter, back-to-back -back catching Hall of Famers. Ron Guidry had a nice career. Ken Griffey Sr. And there's Goose Gossage, another Hall of Famer. Ped's card collection. Hey, we got. If you guys want to help another one out, Ped's card collection is only twenty-three away from one thousand. So. <laughs> that's exactly about the same number that you guys helped 
with the mess of things, bump him over the top. Maybe we can, can we hit another one with just uh, about a minute left here in the live stream? So check out Ped's collection. Tim, thank you very much. This is our last round here. Heather's got the link right there for you guys. And it is going to Billy Ho. So Billy Ho, let's see what we can find for you. Our very final, final, final um, packs of the night. Thank you very much for being here, everybody. These are our last three packs for Throwback Thursday. We'll be live again tomorrow. Looking through jumbo boxes, doing a case break. Actually, probably four case breaks of 2020 Tops Update Jumbos. Three hits per box. Looks like Peds is up to 978. Getting there, 22 more. Lisa just, wow, it just jumped up to 985. Getting there pretty quickly. Let's see if we can get him to 1,000 on the way out the door. That'd be pretty cool. All right, Billy O, let's see what we can find. Here's the 1980 Tops pack for you. Daryl Jackson. Ross, uh, uh, what? Dan Spillner, Larry Heil is not in the right spot. So Larry Heil, maybe Spillner is a double, a double print. That stinks. Uh, Willie McCovey is the last one. Ped's card collection is at 993. He needs seven more. Can he get to 1,000 on the way out the door? There's a disgusting, gross wax. Yuck. That's the worst one of all. Ah. Uh. Oh. Steve Rademacher is here. This is 84 from 200. Steve, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will help him out as well. Pets Collection is at 995. We might have two people during this live stream reach 1,000 subscribers, two content creators in the baseball card community. We just had a mess of things get there moments ago, and now Peds is five away. We've got Jim Norris, Rusty Staub. There is Steve Carlton. <laughs> she says, I'll give you some Purell for those boxes. Yeah, I might need them. Austin says, this is a final push to get him over the edge. Great dude. Austin, thank you very much. Can we get him over the top? Looking for those subscribers. He's at 996. This is the last pack of the night. Thank you very much for being here, everybody. I hope you guys will um, please hit the thumbs up button. 315 of you already have. I'll tell you what, If um, maybe I'll sample the gum here in a second there's a tom siever ricky henderson justice says that pack looks gross yeah that 81 pack looks pretty gross for sure a lot of those 81 packs had that issue going on with the gross wax uh the one and only bud stoney says hey what's up josh i hope you and everyone are having a wonderful and a blessed evening thank you very much for the kind words really appreciate that Hope you are as well and this is the last card right here ron davis so let's show you the big pull of the night Austin is at 997 for heads. Um, we're almost there. All right, so here it is, the best card of the night. And um, to celebrate, I think I'm going to actually try a piece of gum here. I'm not going to eat the whole piece, but in recognition of finding the Ricky Henderson, uh, I'm trying to find a, like a really good piece of gum that I can see. The 82 gum has just a small little piece of the card on it and pens is at 1k so we've done it we've hit it again i'm gonna this is a pack from 1980 tops i will take a little bite of this in celebration of peds and a mess of things going over 1000 so oh i ate that much i wish i had like a i wish i was filming that literally when i bit into it a cloud of dust came out of it, which actually frightened me for a second. Like, you saw that, like, white dust on the back of the Dusty Baker card? Like, that powder just kind of, like, exploded out of the card. Pretty gross, but, yeah, uh, that that was disgusting. I, I, I regret eating that now. But here was the card of the night. Ricky Henderson rookie card out of the 1980 Tops Baseball Card Exchange Authenticated Box in just pristine shape. Uh, hopefully we can get this a PSA 10 for Ernesto. So Ernesto, you were the big winner of the night. There's the Ricky Henderson. Uh, a PSA 10 once again. Um, sold for $30,000 in 2015. I think recently it was $35,000 six months ago. And somebody, I think, said one sold recently for $60,000. So if we can get a PSA 10 on this, Ernesto, you are a very rich man. If you get a PSA 9 on it, which I think is very, very doable... 
you get a PSA 9, it's a $3,000 card right there. So Ernesto, big winner of the night. Congratulations. That's the best card. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. That's it for the live stream. Check us out tomorrow. We'll have 2020 Tops Update Jumbo Boxes. We'll be live again. Um, I'll open up the room probably around 7, and we'll try to go live right around, like, I don't know, between 7.30 and 8.30, depending on um, what I have going on. So have a great rest of your Thursday. Thanks for joining us tonight, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.